Assalamu alaikum I am Naman Khalid today we will talk about Ziel Nelson staining method which is also known as Zeden method and Kinian method both of these methods are performed mostly for mycobacterium species that is for mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium leprae just remember both of these methods are type of acid fast staining techniques but first we will understand why what is acid fastness and why we need to perform acid fast staining techniques so basically acid fastness is the resistance to decolorization by acids it is shown by certain bacteria eukaryotic cells and subcellular structures so in easy words we can say that acid fastness is a property of certain bacteria eukaryotic cells and subcellular structure to resist decolorization by acids during their staining procedures so this resistance to decolorization is most commonly uh, shown by mycobacterium species it is also shown by cyst of uh, cryptosporidium and isospora both are protozoan most commonly work when we are talking about acid fastness we are concerned about mycobacterium species so in easy word we can say that acid fast staining techniques is performed to demonstrate the acid fastness okay there are three methods for performing acid fast staining techniques the first method is known as ziel nelson staining method we can also write it as zeden staining the second method is known as kinian method or we can also pronounce this method as cold zeden method why would call it a cold zeden we will talk about it and the third method is known as oramine rhodamine fluorocom staining technique uh, it is also known as oramine phenol staining it's a fluorescent method we will uh, but in this video we will be talking about zeen nelson and kinian method both of these staining techniques are mostly performed for mycobacterium species but the first question is why we are using these techniques for mycobacterium if we look at the structure of the cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis we see outside the peptidoglycan there is arvinoglycan present and then the mycolic acid these mycolic acids are type of lipids that don't allow stain to penetrate inside the cell wall so mycolic acid is inhibiting stains used in normally in microbiology for staining so in order to stain mycobacterium cell wall we have developed these methods so mycolic acid inhibiting the staining procedures and the second property shown by shown by mycobacterium is acid decolorization we will be talking about them in detail in this video now we will talk about ziel nelson staining technique or zeden staining technique here i have draw are uh, some bacteria that are acid fast usually we are performing this technique for mycobacterium that are rod shaped bacterium whereas other cells that are non acid fast can be round shape or rod shape so in the first step of zeel nelson staining technique we apply a stain known as carbal fustin some people pronounce it as carbal fustin it's a dark red color stain and contain phenol we know that mycobacterium cell wall has mycolic acid that don't allow stain to penetrate so in order to make mycobacterium cell wall more permeable we apply heat heat along with phenol will make myco uh, mycolic acid more permeable so stain can penetrate inside the cell so heat is acting as mordant over here so acid fast bacteria or mycobacterium species will appear as red in color due to carbal fustin all other non acid fast bacteria will also appear as red in color at this stage now in this second step of zed and staining method we apply a acid decolorizer in gam staining we were applying a d 
Quality Classic Solution that is composed of either either acetone or alcohol or combination of both. But now in that staining method, we are applying an acid decolorizer that is composed of acid and alcohol. All those cells that will be decolorized with the help of acid decolorizer will be uh, colorless now and they are termed as non-acid fast bacteria. However, mycobacterium species will resist this decolorization step with acid decolorizer. So we call them acid fast. So it is the property of bacteria to resist against acid decolorizer. We call this property as acid fastness. So mycobacterium species will still appear as red in color. To stain the non-acid fast bacterial cells, we can use either you can use methylene blue or saffrony. If we use methylene blue, this non-acid fast bacteria will appear as blue in color. Whereas acid fast bacteria will still appear red in color. So in short, if we can say that in the Nelson staining method, first we apply carbon fusion which a dark red color stain. Phenol and heat will make cell wall more permeable of mycobacterium species, so stain can enter and stain the cell as red. In the second step, when we apply decolorizing solution, uh, it will not be able to decolorize the mycobacterium cell wall cells still appear red in color, so they resist this acid decolorization step. In the third step, we apply counter stain to stain non-acid fast bacteria. They will appear as blue. If you use methylene blue, if you use saffron in stain, they will appear as green in color. Just remember one thing that mycobacterium tuberculosis is a bacterium that is strong acid fast. That means it can resist more concentration of acid. For mycobacterium tuberculosis, we use an acid decolorizing solution that has concentration of about 3%. We can write mycobacterium tuberculosis as MTB or AFB, acid fast bacilli, because it is rod shaped bacterium and resist acid. We write it as acid fast bacilli and use 3% of acid decolorizer because it is strong acid fast. Whereas another bacterium, mycobacterium lepti, that is weak acid fast. That means it can resist less concentration of acid decolorization. So we use 1% acid decolorizer solution. The older method of acid fast staining known as Kinian method. Some people write it as K method. It is slightly different from ZN staining method. In Kinian method, rather than using carbon fusion, we use a dye known as basic fusion. Basic fusion contains higher concentration of phenol and basic fusion. So in this step, a uh, higher concentration of basic fusion and phenol is enough for the penetration of dye to cross the mycolic acid and stain the cell. So this, in this method, we don't apply any kind of heat, so we call it as cold ZN method. Now we'll talk about the procedure of the Nelson and Kinian method. Both of these methods are very similar. Uh, there is a one single step difference between them. We'll talk about it. But the first step is smear preparation. For smear preparation, we will use disposable loop or broomstick and make a smear. After making a smear, we'll discard them as a biosafety hazard. In the biosafety hazard bin. We will make a smear, we will air dry it, and then we will fix it. We can fix the smear either by heating or through alcohol fixation. For heat fixation, we will pass our slide two to three times over the flame that will fix our smear. But alcohol fixation is preferred because alcohol fixation is bactericidal. Uh, so for alcohol fixation, we will cover our smear with ethanol or methanol. When the ethanol will evaporate, it will fix our smear. 
So after fixation, if we are performing ZN staining method, we will cover our sphere with carbon fusion and we will heat our slide with the help of a lamp. We will stop heating until we see uh, that vapors begin to rise, so we will stop it. We will stop heating and leave the stain on the slide for 5 minutes. But if we are performing Kenyan method or cold ZN method, we will cover our smear with basic fusion for 5 minutes and leave it. After it, we will wash our smear with clean or distilled water. Then we will decolorize our slide with acid alcohol. For decolorization, we will cover the smear with acid decolorizer for 2 to 3 minutes. Then we will wash our slide with clean or distilled water. For counter staining, we will cover the smear with either methylene blue or saffronine for 1 to 2 minutes. Then we will wash our smear with clean or distilled water. Then we will air dry our slide. For air drying, we will keep our slide at a safe place. Uh, but, for air, but for drying the slide, never ever use tissue paper or blotting paper if you are suspecting mycobacterium tuberculosis in the sample. Then we will examine our slide under the microscope at 100x lens systemically. How to examine it, we will talk about it for right now. You can take a screenshot of this procedure. Now we will talk about the result examination and method for examining the smear for mycobacterium. Mycobacterium tuberculosis or MTB, we call, also call them as Acid fast bacilli will appear as red, slightly curved rods. Whereas all other cells and the background will appear as green or blue. Depending upon whether we have used saffronine or methylene blue. In this uh, practical we have used methylene blue as counter stain. When we examine this slide, we see through eyepiece of the microscopic microscope we see a microscopic field under focus we see red rod shape bacteria that are straight or curved we uh, consider them as acid fast bacilli afb or mtb mycobacterium tuberculosis whereas all other cells and the background uh, whether they are Cocci shape or rod shape, they will appear as blue because we have used methylene blue as a counter stain. But not only uh, considering whether we have seen mycobacterium in this slide or not, the most important step of this result interpretation is reporting the number of bacilli. This is very important. If you see red rod shape bacilli, we, consider then, uh, we will consider it as AFP positive. But uh, just remember, method for examining the smear is very important. For example, we start examining the smear from this point of the smear. For example, this is the smear uh, seen under dotted lines, covered in a dotted line. We start from this point, okay? we see under a microscope this field of view this is our first field of view then we go further and examine another field this is second field of view then we go again further with the help of state adjustment knobs we will see another field so this will be our third and so on for mycobacterium tuberculosis examining the smear we see more than 100 fields it in 100 fields, if we see more than 10 acid fast bacilli per field, if you see in every field we see more than 10 uh, rod say bacterium seen, we will report them as 3 plus. We report their number of mycobacterium in, in plus symbol. If we see 1 to 10 bacilli, uh, rod say bread bacilli, Per field, in every field we see 1 to 10, we will consider, it, we will report it as plus 2 symbol. If we see 10 to 100 acid fast bacilli per 100 field, in total 100 field we see 10 to 100 acid fast bacilli only, we will uh, report with the symbol only a single plus. If we see in all the 100 fields, uh, only 1 to 9 red rods, say bacilli, are seen 
will report the exact number of the bacilli. But if you see one or two acid fast bacilli per hundred field, we examine 100 field, we see only one or two red rod shaped bacilli seen. We will ask the patient to again submit the sample. We may have uh, contaminated the sample. We only seen one or two acid fast bacilli. We will again ask for the sample to examine and perform the staining method to avoid giving a false positive result. But if we see, if we don't see any red rod shaped bacilli in the sample, we will write on the report as no AFB seen. We don't write negative. That's it. If we have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I will answer them. Thank you.